Greetings, salutations, welcome to Tech 3D. Yes, I'm still stuck in an ugly webcam frame because where I should be recording videos from, I've still got a huge ugly 3D printer stuck on my desk, boy, here. Right, this is news again, but interesting news up my street that normally I wouldn't have given two toots about and would have flew into my radar, other than for three, re well, sort of two reasons. The first one is acquisitions uh, in the world of Autodesk. Uh, that it's involving Enscape. So the other day, you may or may not have seen the video that I did. If you haven't, mate, you really should check it out because it's a fascinating video. Uh, it's which side? This side. All 100 plus Autodesk's apps explained where I go through every single application Autodesk do. And in there are multiple acquisitions. And this is an acquisition we're talking about today. And it's Enscape, which is... I mean, it's evolved over its over over the years, but in its conception, it was a plugin for Autodesk's Revit program, which is Autodesk's BIM building modeler. So, uh, Enscape has been acquired, and uh, I, I've got a history with Enscape on the channel. Uh, I'll not bore you with the full story, but I went to Autodesk University in Vegas back in 2016. Enscape begun life in 2015. I've I think they had a booth in Autodesk University in 2016, which was their Hello World, sort of, here we are. I saw their booth and I was like, wow, you guys look really good, actually. Wow, what, what, what are you guys? And they were like, oh, we do this, that, and the other. And I was like, oh, okay, can I have an NFR license? Because I, I do YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. So I got home uh, and I made uh, this video about them, which ultimately sort of took off and gained quite a bit of traction. Uh, and... The, the, uh, what I saw, I was just mind blown because bear in mind, I mean, just look at this. This was 2016. Y you could change the sun in the sky and uh, right now in 2022, this just doesn't seem anything of note. But back in 2016, mate, you took this and, and it converted it one click of a button in into this. There was, it was, it was amazing. Also bear in mind, 2016 was the year that the original Rift and HTC Vive launched. It was the beginnings of mainstream virtual reality. And Enscape had support for virtual reality. It was it was incredible. So that video got quite a bit of traction for, for my standards anyway. And um, I've not done much on Enscape since because I don't cover architectural stuff really. I've not had much of a reason to, you know, many compelling reasons to blend it in with my content other than for just showing it in laptop reviews, you know, in the, there it is in 2021 uh, on a MSI laptop. But anyway, yeah, it's an incredible piece of software is, is Enscape and it's been acquired. And the reason I'm covering this is because in a shock turn of events, it's not been acquired by Autodesk. It's been acquired by a couple of private equity companies and merged with Chaos, who are the owners, or the creators of V-Ray and the currently unfortunately named Corona <laughs> rendering engine. Uh, it's probably a bit old by now. But um, yeah, and there's, I find that interesting for a couple of reasons as well, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But this news article doesn't really give a lot of way. I'm not going to read it out in full because there's not a lot. There's, in fact, there's no information in here about the future of what's going to happen. It's basically what chaos is, what they do, which is uh, V-Ray, uh, the Corona engine, uh, when they formed, who the CEO is, a couple of statements about how good we are, and then, you know, we're how excited we are and blah, 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 blah. We're going to grow, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then that's about it. So there's not a lot of information, but ultimately they're going to take Enscape, they're going to take Chaos, V-Ray, Corona, and then merge them all together into a new company, which is going to be called Chaos. I assume Enscape as a product will stay Enscape as a product. It's just going to be under a new company called Chaos, and it's going to be backed and owned by these private equity companies. That's how this is looking, uh, how it's going to go. Uh, and in a poll done by CG Architect, which, you know, it's a small sample set of of users, two and a half thousand, which it's it's a fair, it's a decent sample set, but, you know, across the entire architectural industry, it's a, a, you know, it's a drop in the ocean when you've got, you know, millions of people using architectural software. But they polled 
these guys, you know, what rendering engine do you use? The overwhelming majority of their user base used the V-Ray rendering engine. Second was Corona. And then not further, much further down was Enscape. So, you know, now V-Ray, Corona and Enscape are now part of the same product family. So that's going to be quite, quite the powerhouse of a rendering suite. If that's all offered potentially in one subscription, that that's not known yet. But if it is, that's going to be some subscription. So there you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's the news. What I found interesting, though, and this is just me speculating now, is the fact that Autodesk didn't acquire them. Because as I mentioned in, which side is it, Neil? It's this side. I'll link the video up here. All 100 plus Autodesk apps explained. I talked a couple of times about how Autodesk are acquiring everything in the architectural world. They've acquired Plan Grid. They've acquired um, Innovise. They've acquired just the every absolutely everything. A anything that starts up, you know, Space Maker. Just any company that looks like it's got a decent user base, a client base that looks progressive. Autodesk are just acquiring them. If it's in architecture, if it's in construction, if it's in any kind of site surveillance, anything to do with build, Autodesk are going. That's an, it's not an emerging technology, obviously, because it's construction, but they know how big of an industry that is. They're just buying everything up. Enscape is one of the biggest players in visual, real time visualization, and it plugs directly into their software. I always felt Enscape as a company existed to be acquired by Autodesk. That kind of, that's what it felt like they existed to be, just acquired by Autodesk, except they weren't. My speculation is, this is based off of nothing. This is based off of no insider knowledge, no hints, no tips, no clues. My guess is Autodesk would have approached them. Autodesk would have tabled an offer. But even if that offer was even significantly bigger than what these private equity firms have ultimately given the CEO of Enscape, my guess is they still would have turned Autodesk down because ultimately... Had Enscape have merged with Autodesk, the identity, of the, the identity of Enscape would have been lost. It would have been merged with Revit, and it would have ended up as Revit Visualize, Revit Visualize Pro. And the life's work of the CEO, I forget the guy's name, uh, it's Peter, or Christian Lang. Christian Lang is, and his team have obviously put an insane amount of work into Enscape. That's very apparent. A lot of passion, a lot of dedication has gone into making Enscape what it is today uh, and to build the brand Enscape. I feel like they value that more than money. And for Autodesk to take that and just blend it into Revit, which is what Autodesk do, they acquire products and then they just assimilate them into their other their other products. Take Plan Grid, for example. Autodesk acquired Plan Grid. They merged that with BIM 360 and created Autodesk Build. Plan Grid now really doesn't exist anymore, really, as a, as a product. I think it might have a mobile app or something, but ultimately the name's going to go. Uh, look at, uh, was it Stingray? Uh, was that a, I don't know if that was an acquisition, but it, history's littered with Autodesk acquisitions that they've they've bought up and ultimately just binned. And I think the, the, I think the CEO just didn't want that to happen. Money be damned. So even if this acquisition resulted in him getting less money, I think he valued his customer base and his product a lot more than than money. I've got nothing to back that up from, but ultimately it's, you know, it's exciting. It, it is, it's, you know, it's going to retain Enscape as a, as a product, as a brand, and with the private equity firms backing them up, hopefully it's just going to accelerate even more development into Enscape and take it further. And, you know, it gives the architectural industry, maybe even more industries in the future, an insane visualization solution, blending in with Chaos, V-Ray, uh, and, and Corona. So there you go, there's the news. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Neil Cross, this has been Tech3D. If you do want to check out that All Autodesk's Apps video, I'll link it up that side. Uh, and yeah, drop the video a like, get subscribed if you aren't already. If you want to see more videos like this, thanks again.
Doodles.